Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm just going to share some updates that happened in the month of April as far as world rankings go. There was a lot of movement, a lot of challenges, and a few big upsets. You may not know a lot of these names just yet, but I have no doubts that if you keep up with the channel, keep up with the sport of air hockey, some of these will start to become a little bit more familiar. We begin the month of April with a match between some Chicago players, actually. Brian Niebuhr defended his number 36 rank against Matt Lemoyne four sets to one at the Midwest Gaming Classic in Milwaukee. Jacob Weissman defended his number three world rank against number 11, Chris Gibson, four sets to one. Connor Cummings defended world rank number 12 against his dad, Mike Cummings, four to one. Joey List defended against Benjamin Grabmeyer, four to two. And then the next day defeated Brandon Namaro to take world rank number 16, four sets to zero. I defeated Rob Kennedy to take number 15. I'll post the link to the recap so you can see what happened there. All right, North Carolina plays a ton of matches. I'm not even gonna try to talk about all of them, but here's a few of the key ones that I thought were interesting in my opinion. Ray Nugent came back from being down three sets to zero to defeat Carlos Hernandez to take his number 40 world rank and become the number two player in North Carolina. This was a crazy one to watch live. Then not long after that, Joey List defended his number 16 world rank and his number one North Carolina rank against Carlos Hernandez, four to one. Rough month on matches for Carlos, but I definitely think he's improving and has a ton of potential. I played him back in the 2022 World Championships in Houston, and based on what I saw then and what I'm seeing now, he's much improved already, and I think he's gonna continue to grow as a player. Seth Garrett defended his number 42 world rank and number four North Carolina rank against Marco Oriana Portillo, four to one. Rafael Portillo defended Jamal Reinhardt, four to one, to take the 43 world rank and break into the top five in North Carolina. All right, that's it for North Carolina for now, but there will be more updates in the future. I'm absolutely sure of that. World champion and number one ranked player, Colin Cummings defended his rank against Marcelo Garcia, four sets to zero, 16 games to one. I was actually kind of surprised by this one. I thought Marcelo Garcia would take a couple of more games off of Colin. Colin was of course the heavy favorite, but considering Marcelo actually beat him in the world championship in the winner's bracket side, I definitely expected more from Garcia, so hopefully he'll bounce back from that. Mike Cummings defended his rank in separate matches against brothers Tyler and Nathan Gibson, both 4-0, both 16 games to two, weirdly enough, but was defeated by San Antonio lefty Vince Sauceda, 4-0 while attempting to challenge up to number four. This was also on the same day that Colin Cummings defended his number one world rank against number two, Jacob Munoz, four sets to zero. Earlier on in that match, it looked a little bit closer, but then Colin took the last eight games in a row to finish the match. And last but certainly not least, Connor Cummings, previously ranked number 12, defeated Jacob Weissman, four sets to two, to take the number three world rank. Connor's been absolutely making strides to improve his game and practicing a ton, playing a ton of matches. He's definitely improved quite a bit, even over the last several months. So I think he's gonna really surprise some people the next time we see him in tournament play. Jacob Weissman's already issued the challenge for a rematch, so we'll see what happens there. There's already some matches in the month of May that I'm excited to talk about, but then we also have the inaugural North Carolina State Championship that I'll be attending and competing in. It's a stacked field. There's a ton of great players coming out. I'm very excited to compete again in a tournament setting. It will be in the Raleigh-Durham area. So if you're in that area, definitely come check it out. See Air Hockey play it at a high level. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. That's all for now. Next video is soon, so I'll see you then.